Hello, everybody, and welcome to Perspective. Y'all, I know we're late, but it's okay because we've got a great topic for you. Go ahead on and just share this right now while you can. My, mm -hmm. This is your girl, Pam, and I'm going to give it to you my way. All right. You got your boy, Carlos Mack, every week giving it to you my way. And who's our special guest that we have today? It's your girl, Stacy, dropping in to share a little bit of my perspective. Mm -hmm. And who else do we got? Who we got? You Introduce doing? yourself, I'm brother. I'm Abram, Abram Productions. Um, I'm a DJ, photographer, videographer from Brooklyn, New York. I stay down okay. and uh, reside in Columbia, South Carolina. All right, all right. All right. So um, tell us more about your... What you doing with your um your DJing? How much it costs? What is and was it does it matter with COVID going on? You know what are you doing? Um, right now, um, I'm still getting booked. Um, are you guys still able to see me? Yep, yeah, still able to see you. Okay, cool. I'm just putting in the information real quick. Um, I'm, I'm still getting booked. Uh, DJing, photography, videography. I have a studio up in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I'm like about seven minutes from downtown. Uh, what else can I say? Um, I started since I was like 16. I'm about 28 right now. Um, I'll be forgetting. My okay. Age. <laughs> no, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Um, right now it's, it's really just still a smooth ride. You know, I just try to stay my, keep myself busy, you know, and, um, I have packages available for, um, you know, for, for clients, for, I do shoes for kids, I do maternity shoes, I do family shoes, I do weddings, I do birthday parties, I do clubs, I do okay. basically just pretty much everything. I have equipment where I could go mobile. Um, right now is basically my be my beginning start of um, traveling. Uh, I just came back from Philly like about, it was like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, DJ and I DJ with um, this, this, um, this, this guy, he's he, he basically runs Trap and Paint. You can follow Trap and Paint on Facebook and on Instagram. And um, it's basically just getting a bunch of people around to pay for their tickets. And we come to this venue or to a building, and um, he sets up like all the canvases that's already pre made. And I just come out and I rock out, make sure everybody has a good time, enjoy themselves. Um, okay. That's basically nice. it. All right. Well, sounds good. So, guess what, y'all? We're going uh -oh. hard in the paint, too. Here we go. This is the this is the topic of the day. A lot of times when a man cheat on or, or Stacy, we lost Stacy, but we'll get her back. A lot of times when a man cheats on his significant other, the the woman is never blamed. Mm -hmm. And the problem, I guess, my the question is, do you feel like the woman is to blame if a man cheat on his wife or his old lady is that woman to blame as well you serious that's the question yeah that's the question because the question. you know with, with the Derek situation a lot, they, of the oh. women, a lot of the women were saying this guy that the woman was the women were not to blame this guy and let me say this I, you know I'm, my, I'm gonna put my perspective uh, out here I can't if you that. are a woman and you mess with a man that is married or you know he has an old lady or whatever, you are to blame. Peer point blank. That's my perspective. Now, we, we're going to go into the details. I'm not saying the man is, is not wrong. I'm saying the man is wrong and the woman is wrong. You can't be no home and not be um, taking accountability for, for your wholeness. Period. I, I, beg oh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Okay. First, okay. I don't live that life anymore. I've, I've, I've been uh, refound, rebuked, whatever y'all say. Holy <laughs> new person when it comes to that whole thing. So I don't, I don't feel the need to go out and get more than one. I just deal with what I got, and that's a handful. So, but my thing is this: it's been a lot of times where I've had, you know, um, been the the third party in a situation where that, that other person has a significant other. And unfortunately I didn't care, but it was not my responsibility also to maintain. Yes, it so, is. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I, thank you. Uh, it's not my responsibility to maintain another person's relationship. 
That's your responsibility. A man is going to take advantage of that. I mean, yeah, he's putting himself in danger in a lot of cases because you never know how crazy that spouse or that boyfriend or whatever is. But it's not his response. It's not that girl's responsibility to maintain his relationship. But she oh, has dirty, a responsibility. Oh, dirty Derek. You have a responsibility. Oh, Deacon Dirty well, Derek. My bad. I, let me let the guests say what they feel. Because, you know, I got them. I got some. <laughs> I know how I feel. Let me go. Mm. Sorry. Who want to go first? Stacy? I think every, I mean, I think cheating, everybody plays a role in cheating. I think it just becomes a matter of respecting other people and other people's situations. Um, nobody makes anyone cheat. It's a conscious decision that that individual makes. Um, but I guess it's just, if you are knowingly cheating with somebody that you know, like it's, it's involved with somebody else, I don't know. I think there should be some, just some level of respect that you pay the next person and say, this not what I. This not me. That's not what something I want to get involved in. But I don't. Yeah, it's the only respect I'm gonna give that person is. Hmm. Now, how crazy do you say your baby daddy was? That's the only respect. Okay, you know what? It's probably gonna be a lot of drama behind this. But other than that, that's respect for myself and my well being. You know, in the situation, okay. getting caught with my pants down. That's the only respect I got. My respect. I'm not respecting somebody else's relationship. That's not my responsibility. I don't like to deal with the married thing because I've been told since I was a little kid that it's really that's one of the seven sins, ten deadly what in the sense is covering somebody else's wife. That's the only reason I care. But girlfriends, fair game. What you think, guess? I feel like I know you're uh, seeing some things. You from Philly and back. <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been around and <laughs> um well I'm currently engaged right now. We've been getting, we've been engaged for I think it's I think it's been about a year. Yeah, let that be known. Um, yeah. <laughs> put that out there. Put that <laughs> leg, gotta... shout, shout out, oh, shout out, out to the fiance. <laughs> yeah, shout out to, to ambitious beauty styles. Um wow. Yeah, I've I've um from from the way I see it. I didn't I didn't watch the whole thing, but I got the gist of it, you know, because I've been going back and forth with like people, you know, you know, when you have like people around you that you know that's kind of like going through the same thing back and forth on, you know, how certain people are and things like that, and they trying to work it out, or you try to give them advice, but you know they're gonna go back and do what they're gonna do. Um I kind of already know what's going on when it comes to this situation. The way I see it is like when it comes to like um I don't know if you could call it like a. It's not a misunderstanding, you know. When you're when you're in the point of wanting to get in, because I'm not married yet, you know. But for me to be engaged is like that's basically taking that step. I'm basically opening up a door to start a new life with my significant other, you know. Mm -hmm. So you know what comes with, you know. It's not just oh, you know, we we still boyfriend and girlfriend, and if things fall apart, they just fall apart. I mean, those are just things like this things that you got to work out. It's a companionship. And I feel like that's what people are forgetting and being in a relationship, you know. Um, when people decide that they want to kind of step out, I feel like it is important to have those conversations. I mean, whether if you're married or not, because you still have to have that understanding. And that's how things get caught in the, caught in the wind or, or, you know, it should defend, you know. And, um, All right, I'm gonna jump in. But you I'm never sorry. did answer the question, though. Because I know he did, and, and let me that tell was, you, that was sweet, though. I ain't gonna lie. Right, but, he going if, all around. The he's like, yo, even if she, you know, we we cheat, and you know, we got to work it out. <laughs> and I'm asking you, <laughs> what's up with the other person? Is that person they got to get it too? Uh, you know, so they, they in trouble? What's up? That's the question. That, go ahead. Uh, I I feel like I feel like it it does um the woman the the woman or whoever because it, it happened on either end right, right. I, I think right. they are at a fault at somewhere somewhere at some point I feel like they right. are at a fault because it it takes more than just I mean some people whether you know I say some people are deceitful and they they'll they'll do whatever they want to do you know at the end of the day whether if they you know, be like, oh, I love you, and this and that, and people are deceitful. They'll play two different lives, 
but sometimes when it does get serious, or if you're with this person, you've been with this person with it, um for a certain time, somewhere down the line, something probably had to fall off, or, or that person's not doing what they used to do. Oh, so, no! Hey. No! I you think cannot blame <laughs> what a person's hey, not hey, doing. Yo. That's but yo, no. real talk. Real hold talk. On, hold hold on. On. Hold I on. said at the very beginning, people cheat because they want to cheat. Not, I mean, that's just something internal. Don't try to make it about any external factors. That's something that person decided to do and they did it. He, he, right. He's like, yo, you got a little fat. In? Got a little fat. Can, can I jump in for a sec? Time to go. Go ahead. What I'm saying <laughs> is, if you, now I can get if the woman don't know nothing, that this man is not with a person, don't have a person. This man is, we're talking about men Marry or just have an old lady or whatever you want to call it. If a man cheat and or woman cheat and the person that they're cheating with knows that that person has a significant other or is married, you are the blame too. Both of y'all hoes. It is not one or the other. <laughs> no. It's not fair. Not Why true. do and this and this is another kicker too. Women like to give other women a pass unless they they messing with they with their man okay they like to give them a pass unless they with their man you see i had to you know i cut that off you know what i'm saying because we we are live you know but mm -hmm. i mean what you, i mean stacy stacy don't get me stacy i need you to help me because uh i i know we got to be seen out, out somewhere yeah we 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 are we're the same on this one it's like it's a it's a group it's a group effort the blame is the blame is spread around amongst everybody no one person is innocent in that, especially because the, the key word in that whole scenario is knowingly. You knowingly got involved with this person and they had somebody else. You knew that. It's one thing to get caught up in a cheating triangle and you didn't know the person had somebody else, but when you knowingly engage in that activity, yeah, it's yeah, no. Nah. I'm gonna give y'all I'm gonna give y'all a, a clarity scenario to help y'all through this. All right, check it out. Y'all all know somebody on drug in your family, I'm assuming. I mean, Stacy, you're perfect. You may not have, you might have come from royalty. Um, you may not know family, anybody. Know yeah, you may not have they anybody. Y'all know, I, look, just answer the question, ma'am. Y'all know people that are on drugs, correct, in your family? Or not whatever. in our family, but we might you ain't got no family <laughs> member, Pam, that's on drugs? That, that we know no, not that I know of. Huh? We know Y'all people who do drugs, Carlos. Finish your story. All right, thank you. you. Okay, all right. Anyway, so are you going to blame a dr the drug dealer for the person who does the drug? Or more specifically, say, for instance, you had a cousin who served drugs to somebody you know. You're going to blame him for her or, she, or he, and they're going to do it anyway. You're going to blame the person that gave him the drugs or or interacted with them no, in a way that you them. don't like. So you're going to yeah. go after the drug dealer. You're going to go after every drug dealer in the city. So you're going after a lot of hoes. You know that, right? It's a lot yeah. of hoes out there. I think, <laughs> I think when it comes no. to that, it's two different. I think those are two different. All right. You, you can't blame a drug dealer on the outside. But if it's somebody that's on the inside that's actually a family member, that's a Okay, maybe maybe I brought that too close to home. All right. Yeah, because that's either a way. Game if right your there. child, if your child or your your daughter, your son is on drugs or your cousin and you're trying to get them off, you're gonna go after the drug dealer. Cause I've seen movies where they be like, yo, don't serve oh, to my sister no them. more. Both no. are wrong. Then they just, you just wrong. it's ridiculous. Cause it's more drug dealers out there. But whether so you every time to somebody serve them, your every time somebody say? every time what? somebody serve your girl, you gonna go after them. Then you gonna be going after a lot of people. Them, Carlos, we're saying who's at fault. Well, 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 the, well, the point it's, of it's saying their fault. it's wrong. Well, the point of the whole "it's your fault" thing is that there are gonna be consequences. I thought that's the point of even why no, even bring up the, the other is, person who's at fault if it's not gonna be accountability, not right. So, so how do you accountable? Owning up to your actions, owning up to the role right. you played in that situation, and not trying to skirt away as if you were you didn't you're not at fault for anything. And, well, you and, can... stop, and, 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 and the hoes be want to be the victim. You want to be the victim. Oh, I had sex with your man. You're not a victim. 
Well, she ain't know, then that's different. Now we going to the circle. No, that's different. The way you, know you just made it sound. We're talking about people that know. We're talking about the ones that know. If you know that this man, like that, for instance, that girl, those women knew about this man having a wife. They all admit that they knew. This man said he was about to divorce his wife and this, that, and the third. I've had plenty of men tell me they're going to divorce their wife and all that stuff. And I will refuse to be prey to, to that situation. Okay? Show me the papers. So Show what do you think? Papers. So what do you think? So what, what's your... I guess I'm trying to see what the point I'm is. If saying, your point is not... Go ahead. You, I'm sorry. Really you can't at, 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 at a point you can't really. I mean, yeah, the the female, the, those women are they still like you can still look okay. You did some malicious, but at the end of the day, it's still his fault because it's temptation. He falls under under temptation every time. If he doesn't fall under it, he's 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 no. ready, um he's already initiating himself or you know basically just doing it on his own like. Okay, Okay, I'm still married, but I'm gonna go out and do it. It's not like, hey, I'm expecting someone to call me. You you making those moves to do it on your own. So no, you can't. I, and it's, and if no, it's a, no, what, a no, what, woman? no, <laughs> no, what, man, no, what, pal? No, that man, no, the man no. just the man just weak, right, pal? He just no, no, yeah. no, you, no, can't, blame, you can't blame him. Them hoes no. put it in his face. I said you got to blame the man. And the woman, no hoe get a pass. Period. Nobody's responsible for your relationship, but you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you know. If I know, if, if I know that this man is married, if I know this man, what about your standard? I'm just, I'm just curious, what, Pam. What, what about your why women? What's not not the first time I've heard morals. this? <laughs> right. What about your standards? Why don't, why don't you feel like you should have better standards for yourself? Pam, I, this ain't the first conversation I've seen on social media about this. What's up with them hoes? Them hoes, they get your man if you... No, let me ask you a question. Why is the focus so much on the hoes, though? It's why not. are y'all not, why y not focusing on y'all? No, y'all get... No, on social Yo. media, they're like, he a man, he gonna do what he gotta do. But these no, hoes, they get, they'll get your that. man. Like, they blame... They want they want to give him a pass so bad. They love this no. man. No, it's no he's one... The woman, he's a coochie guru. He's guiding y'all way, Pied Piper. No, he's been leading y'all, and y'all, and y'all almost feel like this, y'all man. It's like comedy or something. Y'all like, oh man, that's my that's my TV daddy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all not gonna blame the person who at fault, no, really? Listen, no, no, no. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. We're not blaming the person who's at fault. I'm not telling you. I'm, just I'm wondering telling why you. Such a focus on the. I'm whole, saying so. we're blaming both of them. Both. The man and the woman is at fault. Period. So you honestly don't feel like okay, based on that whole um entanglement type <laughs> two to the second power uh episode, entanglement to the second power, based on that, you don't feel like okay, well, you know, he he made amends, he did his Jay-Z Beyonce thing. No, he, you know, he fessed up, they gotta work it out, type deal. Yes. Now what I about them like hoes? The, if they That's choose to work the it out, look at um, uh, look at I guess we're gonna need you to talk. <laughs> I feel like if they choose <laughs> I'm to work it out, I'm just, I'm let them that work on. it out. That's fine. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that we have to keep on giving a hoe a pass. That's what I'm trying to say. Stop I, saying say, that it's not you, you both of them are wrong. You can't change, you can't change people. Once, once someone's at their way, they're gonna be their way until they change themselves. Just like how That's you said true. with the drug, what that you saying about the drug thing? Right. But that doesn't mean it's right. That doesn't. Mean no, it's, it's right. not. It's not right. It's Pam not going, right. Pam Pam going to is. the car. Pam going to the Carter. She get aired by all the <laughs> all the dealers in that joint. She telling everybody, ain't nobody serving to her family. Nah, she getting all the drug dealers. In the <laughs> That's right. Right. Get That's all right. the hoes. Go to every strip club, every swap meet, everywhere, every nail shop. She get all the hoes. No, and just, and just like, and just like how, just like a, a drug dealer, drug deals for a reason. They got their own needs too. So the same thing with these women. Their needs might not be moral or or subjective on what you know 
oh, you shouldn't be going out and talk to, talking to other other men, especially if they're married. But shoot, they do. They could do what they want at the Thank end of the you. day. There's no law behind it, but you can't fault them for doing what they want to do. That's just what they are. Now, that, let's say, let's say, just like how you said before, you had men come to you and they said, "Oh, I'm going through a divorce or whatever." You know what I mean, now you you got two choices: either you're gonna follow up on it, or you're just gonna Don't let temptation up take on you that, over. Ladies. Make them show you those <laughs> papers. <laughs> It's, 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 it's a, it's a double a sword, but I... can take him down there and find him divorce papers. Let oh. him show you them papers and don't <laughs> give up because a lot of men love to do that. They, they don't love give to up. say they're going through a divorce, they're going through all of this because you know they're married and they be lying. Meanwhile, the he's man, still getting the it. Man, and she's and women me the don't paper. chase men. <laughs> Men chase women, and if a Whoa, man no, chasing no, no, you, no. <laughs> yes, uh, a married man, <laughs> boy, let us see you no. walking through the mall with a baby. She like, oh, you married? So y'all think like, women yeah, me and my men. wife? Mm, y'all so cute. What? Really? Women I mean, it's not like every man's men. like. It. Stop it! What? Them, oh, them home is it. out there. <laughs> man, please, bro. Okay, if you, so if you're a man, a woman got no, eyes. No she can see the package put together. They don't, like take, the they don't get accountability. They're not. They're not. A, they're look, just, look. You can fault them, just like the drug dealers in there. You can fault them, but it's a waste of energy. It's like, yeah. why? I wouldn't even waste my energy on trying to figure, like, figure out how accountable they should be. For one, if you're not gonna go blow their brains out, I don't even uh, beat them high. Like, I don't see what the point of wasting yeah. energy. You're not gonna do nothing about it. What's the, what's the point? Uh, do something about about your about your significant other, fellas. You get what fellas. I'm saying? I'm by him. I'm by myself. I'm by myself, fellas. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Mm. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Mm. So do you feel like there, if if there's two, if I'm a woman and you coming after me? And you're married or you got someone else and i tell you no and every woman tells you no then you don't have nobody to tangle with and if you are a man and a woman coming after you and you say no then you don't have nobody to tangle with am i right La -la -la -la. It takes two to tangle. <laughs> yes you're true yes that's true it takes two if, to tangle. Every, if every woman so you came up are accountable. But your, your scenario is ridiculous Yes, it's true. If you go after every woman and you're married and every woman said no, yes, you would be left with nothing but your woman. But that scenario is ridiculous. That is so far from what the case is. Both ways. If a woman, I mean, obviously men are a little more hungry, not a lot more hungry than women. There's a lot of thirsty women out there. I mean, that's, well, I definitely, I definitely they don't care. They just don't Samika. care. Because I feel like if huh? you are a woman or a man and you're sleeping with somebody else's woman or a man, what else is that called? Uh, it ain't called Angel. What is it? What you, wait a minute. Give me that. Mika What's said that? That, sh that she doesn't think that they are considered as a whole. So what are they? Um, well, what's your definition of a whole? And this man so you, said, you want to call her a whole. Because a whole, actually, I believe, was supposed to get. Is that either they get paid for money or they just screw That's anyone? Not true. It's free or, holes out or, there. Okay, well, it's all right. EBT yes, holes it, it, out it, it, there. That's true. It's some EBT holes out there. But a hoe, look, you calling her a hoe, but she, this could be the only man she in love with. She just don't care, or she really interested in this dude. That don't mean she's sleeping with a bunch of women. You just call her a hoe because it's her man. But that don't mean she a hoe. You don't know what her lifestyle is. Yeah, okay, whatever. This Your definition of a hoe, a hoe is sleeping with almost anybody. That's a hoe. I, I mean, her, standard, her standards are low. I need some but, if her stand, but if her standard is your man, you that makes you, <laughs> hey, check this out. If her standard is your man, then that makes you a hoe too. That's not true. So if this hoe is only sleeping with your man and that makes her a hoe, what does that make you? That her That's standard my man. is her. He's because my a man. hoe a hoe has low standards. He is my man. A lowest a hoe will sleep with anybody. So I mean, a hoe will sleep with anybody. To, I don't, I don't think, think so. It, I think what it is is that um I wouldn't necessarily call her a hoe, but what she wants, she see the reason why women deal with men or men would deal with women. 
It's because even that first impression, they see a certain something that they have that they want a part of their lives that they got, you know? It's yeah. low self-esteem. Low self no, it's, it's low not that. It's not that. They want, they want the same you, thing you got. When you met when you met your significant other, right? What was it uh-huh. that it's something about him that made you draw to, to into your life? Like, yo, I want to deal with this person. It could have been his looks, it could have been his personality, could have been anything. Now that goes the same thing for everybody else across the board. <laughs> David said hoes. <laughs> I get a lud- ludicrous song in my head. <laughs> Dang. Hey, man, the bottom line is. You can blame whoever you want to blame. The women out there, y'all can keep trying to search for some sort of redemption to the to to y'all saviors no, to Ain't y'all saviors marriage. It's a wrap, dog. Oh, Hello. oh Derek there's e. no one trying to search. It's a wrap. You got to blame y'all both keep getting parties. I've been told so y'all that dude me. was. Let me ask y'all a I've been told y'all dude was fake with it. He was just trying to shine for social media, giving y'all all that great tidbits of information that really. Really, he's just coming up the cuss with, and he ain't living by it. And y'all okay, fell for it because y'all attracted to him. Bottom line, all right. All let me y'all. ask y'all a question. Just let like the hoes out there that let, went for this man. Let me ask y'all a question. Real all talk, right. real talk. Right. If me and you going into a store, and I know that you're about to rob the store, but I don't have the gun. You got the gun, but I'm in the store with you while you rob me. Who's to blame? By the law, both of y'all. Period. Who's the who's the blame? I know you're going here. We go. We have intentions together to rob the store, even though I don't have a gun. You do. Who's the blame? By the law, both uh, of y'all. Who is the yeah. blame? So, huh? so who's the blame for actually doing it? Who, who is actually, the blame? By the law, which I think is garbage. Like I think the person that so does it. Both, both of us said we're going here and robbing this store. No, 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 no. I did well, not, okay, I, okay. I change the question. Well, well, I did not change it. Out. It's been consistent. Mm. Both of us said we're going here and we're going to rob this store. Okay. But you got the gun and you saying, give me all your money. Right. Who's to blame? Both of y'all. Same thing yeah, when it yeah. comes to messing with another woman and a man. Same no, thing. Not. Y'all both nah, wanted nah. to the situation. <laughs> you with... reaching. What? You reach. You reach. Y'all both are to blame. Okay, so you saying both these people say, okay, we're gonna commit both, adultery. Thank you. Okay, but the crime itself is cheating on your wife. That's the crime. Cheating on, on your, your spouse. wife or your significant you other. You can't. You can't both. You can't both cheat on one person. Yeah. Now you can both rob a bank. At the end of the together. day, that woman is not married to, to that relationship. Right. That's but not. She she's met, not the she, one committing she, the but crime. She have an obligation to. You don't have no obligation to who? As a woman, you should have an obligation to, to respect. That's not in woman. the Constitution. It's not in nowhere in any law I've ever seen. Okay. Where okay. That you was talk the about law. The Bible. If you want to talk about a book, where okay. If you want to go biblically, yes. She's it's wrong. in the Bible. That's true, biblically. Now you all she there's no way that she that's true. Yeah. Biblically, yes, that's very true. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. I only it don't say nothing about thou shalt not <laughs> cover thy neighbor husband, though. No, <laughs> come on now. So we gotta say we gotta go back to the book to see what it say about women, they, <laughs> women they, and who are hoes. <laughs> They're both in the wrong, but at the end of the day, it's up Thank to that you. person that's in that marriage. You you get the most fault at the end of the day. You know what I mean, the 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 person <laughs> that that's basically like the accessory. Yeah, you can get your slap on the wrist, but the person that is married, yeah, it's definitely your fault. Cause you came in the room, you was ready. You know, you already knew what's gonna happen. You already know what's up. You know, yep. when you get into in your relationship, people are gonna come. People are either gonna kind of try to sabotage. They're gonna come and try to sabotage your, your relationship no matter what. And you gotta know how to tackle those situations. Now, if you can't deal with it, and you keep falling, and I wasn't, <laughs> it was more than one time, right? That this was going on. Yes, it was. So this is this is his routine. 
It's, it's his habit. You know what I mean? Like the drugs. Well, you know what? It's, it's something. <laughs> I mean, this right here conversation, honestly, when it comes to women, um, um, women being held accountable, because mm -hmm. I really do believe that a lot of um, a lot of men do respect if you're married. They 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 respect it. Women, on the most part, really don't because they're selfish. They yeah. That's that's a, that's I, an opinion. I, it's not a fact. I think that's, no, that's my opinion. I, that's part my opinion. my part of my expression. I think that's ass backwards. Yeah. Are you really? a woman? A woman is gonna respect the relationship. That woman are a lot less thirsty than dudes. Man, what is you talking about? <laughs> like a lot less thirsty. A woman can walk down the street and get a man. All she got is she take her clothes out. Middle, they're not gonna say, "Oh, she's insane." They're gonna be, "Oh, I wonder if she need a ride." They, no, a man walking a down the street. A man walking down that's the street. A thirsty well, guy. Naked. He's thirsty if he see a naked a woman walking down the street naked and ain't gonna be like, "What in the world is wrong with her?" What you been, what rock you been living under? Men are way thirstier than women are. There are a lot of thirsty women. But men are way, yeah, way thirsty. Yeah, the, <laughs> trust the oh, well, I don't <laughs> know. Explanation. No, I have seen. I have seen where majority of men respect the fact that you're with someone. No, and I don't know if it's the confrontation. Hold on, I don't know if it's the confrontation that they think that's going to happen behind that situation. That's part of if it. You're with someone. So they kind of step back from yeah. that, like they don't want no drama, right? Kind of situation, right? But women, they like f that b, boo boo boo. You well, know I'm what I'm saying? I give I give you a great example. Man comes up to a woman, says, "Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Yo, whatever, whatever. You look real nice. I'm seeing you around. How you doing? I'm blah blah blah. Um, you know, what's your name? Y'all get it connect, and then he's like, and she's like, well, you know, I'm married. And oh, okay, all right, you married? Uh, uh, Y'all happy? Oh no, 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 no. she's like, Yeah, we're happy, we got kids, we're good. Now, what he's thinking is, no, his next question is, Well, you you can't handle friends. Mm -hmm. What he's looking for is a is, loophole, isn't an open, yeah, op opportunity. Now, same scenario. Woman comes up to a man, man, this is this and that, and you know, you know, I'm married, you know, I don't like big booty no more. I just I like my wife, you know, blah blah blah. And she's like Oh, okay. Well, you know, she's not gonna be as she's not gonna go as hard because the man now, is always, and, but listen, the man and, is always the aggressor. I'm not finished. And, okay. well, this is my point. Part of the aggression is is the desperate part of it. So no. he's like, look, and he's like, okay, we could be friends, we could be cool. Because he's just gonna wait until you die and then F you in your in your coffin. He's waiting until his last moment. Your friend is not your friend if he's a guy. And if he is, it's very few and far in between. I'm telling you, they're waiting you out. A dude will wait you 20, 30 years. Be like, man, I've been waiting on that forever. A woman is not going to be do all that. Okay? she Even if she's thirsty, it's only going to be a limit to that thirst. A dude is like a camel. You hear me? Like, we. So what you think about that? Going for the long haul. How do you say your name? Wait, we waiting on that water. We waiting on that water for long. We waiting and storing it up. Waiting on that. Going through the desert for that water. I can only I could relate because I heard it before a bunch of times and I could, and I've seen it. You know, like there be dudes, they be in in, in like in my in my fiance's inbox still right now. They've been waiting for years, even before I met her. Hey, years. What's up? good morning. These these was say good morning before I do. And they <laughs> only being polite, back Pam. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I gotta say it for it. Pam. The only mm -hmm. reason they're being polite is like you said. They're afraid of the aggression. But when they see that woman that's going to get them to slip in into the situation, they whole safety and well-being go out the door. Ain't no the dude crazy. They're still going to sneak off with Shawty. Because mm -hmm. they're waiting on you. And they wait till you die. Yeah, I, I, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, Told you uh, deathbed. Uh, a man is always going is really going to run. The, I think, I, I feel like women also, they, they kind of hang on too. But they don't. They they don't hang on as long as as a man will. A man will go. Women get sex and so easy. He'll 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 change his whole life. <laughs> he'll start reading books. He'll become a teacher. He'll do do some backflips. Everything. Just no war. That's for the right Major woman. That's just not for any wars, woman though. Wars have been waged over women. Yeah, and they are saying there are wars. By the time they get back together, 
Oh, this is not what I signed up for. Yeah, we know, but I've been waiting. No, <laughs> <laughs> then I got out. Then I got out of shape. Everything. You're like, you know mm-hmm. what? I've been waiting. Then anyway, Dude, why you think doing so tough? Off. <laughs> look at how his look how he, how you got his wife like how she's dressed up. I mean, look at look at her like her well being and her appearance, and look at his appearance. Who you think that? Who do you think that he's? Making himself look good for you think he's making himself look good for his wife that got on live with the with the with the with the um with the, the bonnet or the I'll rob you with the I'll rob you um outfit <laughs> yeah and no bro or, or is it for when he I didn't know out that. the door when he step out the door and go see them go see those other women that's going to be you know going to step up I mean him. to his to his uh defense slightly doubles uh-huh. advocate stuff he's a social media. Guru, women, Pied Piper. So he has to, in order to maintain some sort of presence on there. The same way pimps have to maintain a presence, and they have to be flashy and all that. You got, you got to because women are listening to him. That's his audience. So mm-hmm. a, he's a preach man. He ain't no different than a preacher, bro. I'm trying to tell you. What, what looking at the pulpit, <laughs> looking off of the pulpit at all the women who wearing them short skirts for him. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is well, this is another thing I didn't like what y'all were saying. Mm-hmm. That that a man cheats because there's something wrong in a relationship or he's missing something. Men don't cheat just because they're missing something. You I have some men that just tr- just cheat yeah. and they was trying to comfort that lady to my son because she had on the bonnet and because she looked ah. a certain kind of way. <laughs> but my thing is you this man married her knowing how she dressed, how she looked, or whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So there was something special about her. And Beyonce, one of my friends had on their post about Beyonce. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. You can be the finest woman in the world and a man will cheat on you. So but it doesn't matter. It ain't, it's not all about looks either. It may be something else missing. Because to me, Beyonce seemed a little dangy at times. She seemed a little... But I mean, see her wrapping back I hope the back beehive back and all that. But I'm just... Well, yeah, but I mean, because who else is it going to go to? What you... Going down from B, but I was just saying it she might not have been on this man is a really intelligent dude. I don't I mean Jay-Z. I'm not saying Beyonce is not intelligent. I'm just saying maybe the conversation just wasn't anyway. She can dance. Beyonce though, is real smart. Man. She's about that money. She is she that she don't got, mean she's smart because she's empire. not money. You got a lot of I mean, you, rich dummies out there, so don't stop that. No, you got Donald, Trump, know how Donald Trump's make. rich. Well, yeah, he real. Did you say he's intelligent? I don't think he's rich, though. Okay, that's, we'll my that's another discussion. Yeah, that's a whole nother discussion. I don't think Donald <laughs> Trump rich. That's just my opinion. He just but know how to hustle people. I, I put it to you like this: it's a lot of people that know how to use other people to get ahead, and that's called business. You don't have to be and the and smartest and Perry, person you, you in the just group. Said it too. Right before you, before you step in, you just said it. Just like about Trump, he know how to swindle his way in. He know what right. to say. Right. It's the same thing with this man. Yeah. Right, right, right. He know how to swindle himself into women's panties and making it. Because me, I never was attracted to the man. I don't see. But I did think, honestly, that he was on point with a lot of stuff he was saying. Of course. He was on point with the message. I don't I care what y'all was. said about the messenger. He was on point with the message. Even if he was sleeping with all the women that he was giving the message I, to. I'm not going to get. I'm not. I'm not going to call you a liar. But I will say that most women were attracted to him based on how what he was saying, how he carried himself, his what perceived moral compass and family, whatever. They were attracted to him the same way that there are women who are attracted to preachers who are married. Right. The same, but all the women, in, I guess all the women in church holds, too. Oh, it's plenty holes in the church. <laughs> all the women that go to church and all it's that. plenty of holes in the church. In love with Deacon uh, Derek. In love with him. So since, cool. since he, since he, um, all right. So basically, him all Derek these things Jackson. that make him who he is, and like yeah, look know, him up. That Derek he gives out, he gives out that he gives out that advice, right. and he has to look good, and he has to show right. off his family. Would Would you say just like um like a picture, right? The preacher got to dress up. The preacher got to say the word and all that stuff. When you when you call out a performance, absolutely, like he's performing, like he's like basically putting on the show, like you know, 
because yeah, maybe he's saying, "Oh, it sounds good," because you know, because he's talking about relationships and what not to look in the man and things like that. You don't think that's a performance? He's basically playing the life of on the side, like where he's doing what he want to do. But I gotta put on the show. I gotta show show these women. I got a good family. Well, I gotta show these women. Um, you need a man that's that's look big and buff, or you know that knows how to talk. Because people are listening. Like when you're listening to to what someone's saying, it's just like it's like you just it's like you're watching TV. I mean, like when you, you're gonna keep watching and keep watching and keep watching because it's all these things that he's just putting together that you just like about him. Now things is hitting the fan, and people was like, oh, you know. He need another chance because he put on that show to make you feel like, yo, this dude, he was sounding good on the videos and you know all the advice and stuff like that. But you gotta, you gotta look at the reality of it. I mean, he a dirtbag, <laughs> hmm. you know. Uh, Miss Eugenic, I hope I said that right, Miss Johnson. Uh, that man was a con man, plain and simple. Black women hate admitting. When they've been played, LOL. That means laugh out loud. Right. Well, I mean, I don't. My thing is, I, I, my thing is, what he, his message was real. His mm -hmm. message, if you listen to the message and not take him out of the equation, mm -hmm. you listen to the message, his message was real. Mm -hmm. And now I don't, I, you know, he just portrayed this perfect kind of guy, which is really li literally not out there. And that we all do make mistakes, but still yet, what he was saying about a woman's value and how she should be treated, he was on point. You know what I'm saying? But I do I do believe that women need to be giving women these advices. And women also need to have women accountable. Men, we, got, we have more women men out there trying to tell a woman what she needs to do and not even trying to advise these men on what they need to do. Talk to the men. He was, doing, he was doing. He was doing. He was doing both. Need, we need some. I, look, look. You know, I share some stuff to me about this guy. Like, I challenge all the people. Like, um, who was asking about mm -hmm. Derek? About uh, who we talking about? Derek Jackson. I challenge all the guys to go look at this man's footage, his old stuff, and see how he was talking, and see if you don't see a little bit of BS in in the way he was talking. I don't knock the message itself. Yes, women should have self esteem. Blah, blah, blah. But the way he was coming, it just looked like jumping me. And I'm saying, Pam, did I did I not call this? You did. I called this a long time ago on how weirdly arrogant he was about the message. It'll be different. Now, I can respect the past. Just like she said, the message is true. Just like a pastor, the message is true. But it would be, you you get things better from somebody being real. If the pastor got that, look, I used to be a whole, I used to be a pimp. I used to be the worst one out there, but don't do it like I do it. Take it from me. You see this car, right? Like he going in like that, right? You can respect that. You believe it. You can understand the journey, but someone that come in and just act like, you know, this stuff yeah, don't brother. stink and all that. Just have that, that come on, man. You can't believe nobody that damn perfect. No. So let me ask you a question. I want to ask our guest a question. Have you ever been faced with that situation in your past? Not with your, your fiance, because you know you've been perfect with that situation. Mm. But, <laughs> you know, in the past, have you shop, been shop, shop, faced fiance. in a situation where you put your significant other in a bad position by cheating on her or whatever? Yeah, I have. I have. Um... And how did you feel or how did you feel like the woman felt or was you lying to the woman? Um, basically what it was, was I was dealing with this woman and, um, at first, you know, we was basically like friends or whatever. And I saw, you know, I tried to like, I mean, this, you know, we, we, we always have an understanding with women, like basically because I'm, I'm in the business where I deal with women all the time as a photographer. So, oh yeah, I see your pictures. Yeah. So this, <laughs> Picture this man. this this, this one this one female you know she was cool i mean we, we had like basically it was like a nice friendship i mean we was able someone to actually talk with on the side of doing business you know just talk mm -hmm. about you know just regular stuff and just checking on each other things like that but it wasn't um you know i'm gonna go ahead and just call her late at night or call her during the times like i'm dealing i'm i'm, I'm with my uh significant other 
But in time, it was just like, you know, I kind of like this person or she seemed like to me. And that's where the temptation came in, you know. And when the temptation came in, I wasn't thinking about nothing else but myself. So, you know, things happened and we, you know, we kept going back and forth. And I slipped up, got caught up on my phone. And basically, I got, you know, I got in trouble, hit the doghouse. And I cut it off after that, you know. So did, you, so did you feel like at that particular time you realized that she was not um, worth your relationship, basically? At that moment? Um, did she know you had someone else? Yeah, she did. So yeah, do did. you feel do you do you feel like did your girlfriend at the time did she feel like that she was at fault too or she just blamed you? I felt like at that moment, um, but the relationship was like because you know we all boyfriend and girlfriend, and um, I felt like at that point it wasn't just like you know oh we happy and stuff like that we happy go lucky and I'm gonna go ahead and deal with whoever I want to. It was certain things that, you know, I just felt like the relationship was already on its on its wit's end. But, you know, it felt like it was nothing going on. You know, like imagine like waking up to with somebody and you don't talk. You don't even say good morning or you know, it just right, feels like right, I'm right. just here. Like I'm just just getting up saying, Hey, you know, I'll I'll cook or whatever. You know what I mean, but we'll talk about how's your day and then that's it. Hey. Hey, be careful, man. Sounded like you're blaming the woman. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. I, I'm not blaming the, yeah, I'm not like blaming the woman. I just felt like at that point, it wasn't. It, I, I don't want to just blame. I don't want to blame her. I just felt like at a certain time, the relationship just, it, it didn't hold no value anymore. It didn't have that right. same feeling. You know I mean, and it wasn't well, that, like. So, so that's the only, that so that's the only into... reason you cheated is because at that particular time, you felt like. It was the red shit wasn't going anywhere. So why not let her go? I tried. <laughs> okay, wait, well, wait, I, 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 I guess I'll give you a longer story then. <laughs> okay, yeah. so in this relationship, right? Um, you know, we didn't have it, it happened so quick. It happened so quick. Like we, we we met each other in like a week. We started having, you know, getting intimate that week and things just, just got serious out of like it was a it's a real spin. And I felt like it it is it wasn't my fault for not taking my time because I didn't know this person and she didn't know me. And as things went by, I you know, we, we wasn't getting you know, we wasn't um agreeing on certain things. Uh we always saw things differently and she lived a different life because you know she had a kid and I was still in my prime trying to get myself together and I came from taking care of my family. You know, I don't have no kids. I was just taking care of my mom and my and my family, you know, and she had her, just her and her son. And it, it is my fault at a point because I didn't know what it's like to deal with a woman with a child, you know. And and on the side of that, it's just like with us having so many differences and two different paths, you know, she wants to settle and have a, you know, you go to work, I go to work type of life. I wanted to travel, you know. And what I was doing was making money. You know, what I was doing was building my career for myself. It didn't, it, she wasn't in, you know, it didn't involve her basically. So as time went right. by, you know, she, she, she was, I stayed around because, you know, I, I, he was, you know, her son was there and stuff like that. But after a while, it's just like with me and her, the relationship just started getting more blander and blander. And it's just like, you know what, you know, when this person came in, I saw the likeness in, in, in her. I saw her personality and I saw these things, but it didn't happen instantly. It just took its time. And after a while, I was just like, you know what? I can't do it no more. But in the midst of it, I went about it the wrong way by getting intimate with the next person before I let go the last person, you know? Right, so. right. Okay, we get it. So now now we have now we have real cheater insight. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, yo, hey yo, but I got a I got a real question. Like I don't think I don't think people are being real about what what cheating what causes cheating. Like I think mm. everybody wants to be wants to feel victim, but I think that there is honestly something missing in that situation. Whether you're right or wrong for the way that you're going about 
dealing with that. But there's yeah. something that you feel is not jiving correctly in that relationship. Whatever that may be, whether it be physical, mental, financial, there's a reason why you're going sexually, whatever it may be. Although, yes, a lot of men have very superficial reasons. They may mm. feel that in their relationship, they just can't, they don't, they don't feel the thrill of the chase and all this other stuff. It may be simple as that, or it may be deeper, maybe not connecting, or whatever it may be. But even the woman, it doesn't matter who you are. There's something in that relationship, excitement wise or satisfactory or safe wise, that you're just not feeling. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you'd be good. You'd be good. Yeah. 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 That's my you real opinion. I, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to um, actually agree with y'all on this because I feel like you can be in a relationship and you can love someone and you don't, and you don't want to cheat on that person or anything like that. But you can, if you're feeling lonely in a relationship or you're feeling like um, something, like you said, something missing in a relationship, you want to find that somewhere else. And even if you try to fight for that to be in your relationship or whatever, because you love that person, you don't want to let them go. And it's almost like a selfish situation or whatever. But I think once you realize that you want to get to the point of date, going out on a date and being intimate with a person, you really have to respect if you love that person or you care about that person, respect them enough to let them go, you know, that kind of situation. But yeah. I, I do, I do un- honestly. What's Mashita's first comment? Let's talk about Go ahead, Pam. I'm sorry about that. Okay. About oh, yeah, yeah. We post this one. I think this is the first. Um, oh, okay. but yeah. I just, I, I just feel like sometimes, you know, in, in, in any real, in any relationship, I, but I just don't feel like, like you can blame when it comes to um, what you're doing to that particular person, your partner, your wife, your husband. That accountability is solely yours. Absolutely. When it comes to that, but if you're bringing into another another person into your relationship, then you it's a shared, you know, situation to me. You know, what I mean, you you have to kind of find some some balance in that. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I can't really explain it on, you know, exactly what I mean. But you definitely have to, you know, hold people accountable. True, Jermaine. The woman did not make a commitment to that, to Derek, period. Right. Uh, look, this is the bottom line, man. You got, no, we said it over and over, you have a responsibility to your marriage or your relationship nobody else does i don't care how many guys and women come at you you're the responsibility and mm-hmm. on top of that a lot of people don't believe that you can love more than one person at once not true if you yeah. allow someone to gain access to your heart and start getting some real estate in your heart you can more just like more than one person can live in a house you allow more than one person to live in your house guess what more than one person gonna live in your house it's there are different type of things you like about different type of people and this person may have a set of things that that will attract you if you allow yourself to look at those things, period. Now, that whole soulmate thing, you got more than one soulmate, believe me, out of billions of people. If you allow people to fall between the cracks of your relationship, period. Right. This, just like you had a relationship that you love this person before in this relationship and then the next person, they're two different people. They're just in two different times. There's still more than one person that can that can that can um, sway your judgment if you allow it, period. So don't allow well, someone I'm, mentally. I'm don't be texting. Don't be doing all this stuff. If I, it's just, I don't it's have just no room for one person. I, I just don't have no room because that means I have to I have to actually give attention to two different people. And I don't have time for that. I got to make money. I got to be a mama. I got to be, you know, a businesswoman. And when you got to, when you got too much time on your hand to be trying to entertain this guy, that guy, and that guy because they didn't they didn't got a uh some room in your heart, then you got too much time on your hands. Find you a job, find you a business, <laughs> find you something to do with your life because you got too much time on your hands if you got more than one person you're trying to entertain. That's right, That's Pam. I tell these, tell these get women you some money, baby. <laughs> tell these women how how not to cheat. Tell them how to get their mind right. <laughs> Go get you like, some money. I feel like I feel like it's it, it. 
I feel like that has nothing to do with um not cheating. <laughs> Why? Which part? Because, Which part? Because um, about- you could be the busiest person in the world, but mm. if your heart isn't happy or whatever boy you're trying to fill isn't there, mm. you're still going to go after it. You're going to make time eventually. On your lunch period. <laughs> your lunch break you're gonna be getting it in if you ain't if you're not if you if it's like this if you got time to cheat you got time to make money you got time to do other things besides cheating you know what i think, what I, think I think people get lazy a woman to get lazy and they'll say stupid stuff like you gotta love me for me you gotta love me the way I am. Yes, I'm 200 more pounds. You better love me for me. Yes, I cut all <laughs> my hair. Yes, I cut all my hair off. Let me finish. Yes, I cut all my hair off, and I look like Florida Evans for good time. But you gotta love me for me. <laughs> no, I got do that no. with my hair. And then the dude, like, I do love you, but I ain't never signed up to love Florida Evans. First of all, from what I have seen, more men are out of shape. And looking horrible when they get we're married. We tra- talking about attraction, right? What, I'm talking women about attract- more men are out of shape than the than the women. The men get the beer bellies. The you're men crazy. get fat. You crazy again? You crazy? Women get fat quick, bro. No, men, could, men. men get fat a lot. We got more muscle. We more. Come on, bro. Like we 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 are a lot less fat Thank in you. relationships. You got time to cheat. You got time to work on your relationship. That's true. <laughs> but also, you should maintain a certain level in your relationship. Don't make it easy for a little hot thotty to come through. Um, I'm just saying, man. Like, maintain your relationship. Day. It goes both ways, right? Yes, yes, you, yes you're Trace. supposed to maintain your relationship. But that spouse, if they want to keep you and keep your your interest, they need to be doing David is too. really hating on me, on, on women, I mean women, to say. Women are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, David. All it is a mean emoji. Women. Mean emoji. I mean, um, really. What's but the bees? Y'all... What's up with the bees? Mashita, what's, what what's popping? She got a, like six bees on that. What's that? Oh, for? Beyonce. Oh, Lord. You late. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what time is it? Coming in. It's time for the oh, show. Okay, to that come was earlier. That was earlier. My bad. Yeah, the bees. Oh, John. Right, right, right. Well, we ain't Look, popping like that. I, don't, I hope we ain't on the radar. One day we will be, though. She might have something to say. That's right. Well, this has been a great show. This has been a great topic. We had some good and get some new engagement. Some different new people engagement. coming on and talking. Shout to out to me, Yes, honey. So, um, Mr. David, the, the woman hater in the yeah, house. David. <laughs> David, look at my face. Mm. Stop that. hating on us. Women are the worst. They need to stop hating. He, he so anyway, some, uh, animosities. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, okay. No <laughs> real animosity. So, um, the right woman would change a man's life. I bet y'all like that one. That's right. She said, "Keep it cute when you're talking about the um Queen B." Okay, don't talk about it. Queen. It's coming up. It's coming nah, up. Please. Oh, please. Oh, please. It's, uh, more, <laughs> it's more drag queens and the beehive than women. Real okay, talk. so y'all, y'all check this out. Check this out. We're it's coming to an end. We appreciate everybody coming. No wrong with drag queens, though. Y'all do y'all thing. Burlesque we're, or whatever, we're, whatever y'all like to do. Hold on. Live we your appreciate life. y'all coming on. We love y'all so much. Um. So we're gonna let our guest tell us about his business and what he got going on one more last time. My boy Before John, you call me AB for in sure. the house, <laughs> huh? I'm, you call me AB for sure. It's aberrant. Aberrant. Child, I can't say your yeah. name. Aberrant. Labyrinth. I appreciate, gotcha. y'all, I appreciate y'all for having me. I, I wasn't. I wasn't even expecting this. I thought it was gonna be like a question and answer thing. I was like, okay, but I, uh, I, I, interview. I'm feeling this right here. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm right come here. back, man. Come back, man, brother. Definitely, definitely. I just let me know when y'all need me. But um, yeah, it's Ever Productions. I do videos. I do photography, videography. Um, I DJ. Uh, I do graphics. I have a studio in South in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, my fiance is Ambitious Beauty Styles. We have a salon downtown, about seven minutes from the um studio. Uh, right. We do hair care products. We do uh custom shirts all, all that good stuff. So you know, make sure you guys check us out. You could Google us, look us up on Facebook. Um, and just give us a call, man. I appreciate everybody for chiming in and putting their input, and I appreciate you guys for 
you know, giving me this time of the day. <laughs> okay. Okay. So right, now right. We're gonna, before we end it up, we're going to let everybody give their last, last perspective. Mm -hmm. Carlo, I mean, um, we're going to let you give your last perspective about the show, what you think about cheating and all that stuff. Then Carlos, and then I'll end it up. Got you. Oh, so we're going to wait on everybody? No, no you good. Go ahead. People. Run it. Okay. All right. So the way I see it is like, I feel like it's choice. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like it's about choice on what you do. Because once you in the, especially in marriage, you know, on the serious, um, on a serious aspect of a relationship, which is basically like the last part, you know, that last chapter, um, it's all about the choices you make when, when you at home and when you step out that door, whether it's, you know, you just taking time out for yourself or if it's about business, you know, you got to know how to, um, how to, how to move, you know, you got to know how to, you know, take care of certain situations when they come up to you, you know, how to, you know, deal with certain things. So, um, that's basically how I see it when it comes to women or men, you know, basically from the outside coming in. Um, they are wrong, you know, it, it, once you make, once you put it across, once you draw that line, you know, I'm married, this and that, they are wrong if they're still trying to push it, you know, to get what they want. But at the end of the day, it's all about that married man or that married woman to take care of the situation at the end of the day, because it can only go further if you let it go further, you know, or if you accept certain things. Temptation is a mother, you know what I mean? And it's out there, right. so they, you can't do nothing about it. And it's, it's, it's all about how you go handle it at the end of the day. Do you really love this person enough to put temptation to the side, or you know, or you going to just let, or you going to fall for it every time? Okay, Carlos. Absolutely. Um, I think the biggest part about it is you, you, you as a person, unless you're going to do something to the other person. Um, that's cheating on your significant other can't really do much else uh, except scold them on social media. But karma is, I mean, it's, it's crazy how things work out when you do negative stuff. Eventually it may not even be with that person, but something will come along, whether it be a baby or some other stuff or just, you know, whatever might happen. Maybe even some violent stuff uh, might happen to you messing with another, but on the same, but on the same note, I don't think that you should, depend on that guy's ring to stop and ward off all the hoes you know this side of the mississippi is not gonna happen you know what i mean and you can't blame another person um for your marriage or your relationship being trash or being weak or whatever in the same token get rid of that moo moo um that medea outfit that you come into bed with Please get your hair done. And I don't know how this fits in, but I always say it. I know some way, shape, form, and fa fashion it matters, but beat them bad kids. That's probably where these women coming from that's dots. It's all these bad kids. <laughs> Y'all not beating. So spank them kids. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this week. Oh, okay, so oh my boy, my boy, John. John Del Cano. What's up, boy? That's all it. right. So, so this is my last words. Is I always say, every show that we're stronger together you as a woman you as a man if you know someone is taken respect other people's spaces and respect other people if you want someone to respect your relationship when you're in one respect someone else's when when they're in one mm -hmm. because a lot of times we don't care about what happens um when we are the ones that's making things happen but when we are the victims or when we're it's happening to us then we feel the pain that that we can put upon someone. So just respect, treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Love people the way you want to be loved. So if you know that man is taken, tell him no. If you know that woman is taken, tell her no. It's nothing wrong with respecting. Not only are you showing respect for their relationship, you're also showing respect and some values for you. And understand that what your accountability is as a citizen, as a person, and black people, let's stop hurting each other. That's all I'm saying. Women, we need to we need to be more supportive about when we know these men are with other women and stop being selfish. We need to have a little bit more support support when it comes to each other. Let's stop hurting each other. That's all I have to say. Yeah. And watch us every single Sunday. Yeah. And, and all y'all gay men that are um 
True. that are that are taking these women's <sighs> husband husbands quit messing with these men man giving them temptation because they you call them an epidemic for them they're complaining a lot all right thank y'all so much and y'all have a great and lovely day all right thank you <laughs>